What's good? This is Marcus DeFingers back at it again with another video. In this video, I'm going to go over the Mobile Music Pro Essentials Pack 2 and the sounds that I use to create my beat um, that I actually called Midnight Oil using the Mobile Music Pro, uh, using only only the sounds from the Mobile Music Pro Essential Pack, Essentials Pack 2 uh, kit. I'm sorry, let me get my stuff situated over here. Um, so here I am at Beatmaker 3. Uh, we're going to use, uh, I, I think for this, um, I started with the drum sound. So this is what I came up with. The fingers on the beat, and then that uh, you know throughout the beat. So I used the uh, the kick one shot nine. You see the names there. I used the snare one shot, and on the kick, what I did was uh, you see the sustain down here. Um, the kick really uh, holds out kind of long, so I lowered it down to about forty. I think I was at forty something percent there, so that it just cuts kind of quicker than I don't need that whole sound to ring out. Same with the snare there. Uh, I didn't have that at 100. I brought that down to 50. And you can see my ADSR, um, the attack, uh, decay, sustain, release. Uh, they also have hold in there. Um, you can see the settings I have for each of those instruments there. So here's a kick, snare, hi-hat. Uh, with the hi-hat, I also threw a high-pass filter on there because I didn't need the low stuff on that hi-hat. So that open hi-hat actually let ring out. Um, I lowered the gain on that. Uh, tambourine, I, don't, I actually don't know if I use that or not. Uh, some percussion one shots, snare one shot, the ride, some effects, tom, and another percussion. Um, so those are the sounds I use from the Mo Mobile Music Pro kit for the drums. Uh, and then I had this, uh, I took a bass sample from the kit and I just chopped it up to one note and I just sampled that note across the keys and this is the bass line that I came up with. Um, and then, then I think there's a couple changes with the bass there and with the effects um, I actually didn't go over the effects I have on the drums I'll run back to that but for the bass I have go to EQ by Clev Grand um, using the good start bass preset and then tweaking uh, some of the sounds there uh, and then I use low fly dirt by uh, MSX audio um, uh, and I have this uh, set here on these settings for the bass and then I go into the built-in Beatmaker 3 EQ just taking out some of those highs so I like the Clev Grand EQ by shape I use the Clev Grand EQ the go-to EQ for shaping the bass and then I use this EQ for sort of cutting out some of the frequencies I don't want that might be added from the lo-fi dirt and then um, uh, I think that's it for the bass let me run back to the drums I do use FAC transient punch on drums preset here and then I went into FAC maxima with the limiter fast uh, preset there and then into low fly dirt um, so that is the drum. Here's the drum and bass together. Uh, so next up, I have another sample from the kit. This is the chords wet sample. Um, I don't think I have the original, but what I'll do is I will copy that here. And you can hear how the original sounded right here. So this is the original sample. So some great like power chords there. So basically what I did was chopped it up, pitch shifted it. So each one is pitch shifted down five semitones and then I uh, time stretched it so that it matched the tempo I was using. And this is how that sounds. We'll go here. So yeah, that's the chops for the, the chord sample there. And then next I went to the, uh, let's see what sound, actually the effects I have on that last sample, Pro-Q3 cutting out highs and lows, so it's just a bandpass filter, going into Watt, which is basically like a bandpass compressor almost, um, with these settings here, and then Magic Death Eye compressor, uh, just adding a little bit more compression on those so that the, the sound um, levels out because some of the, uh, the chops have lower volume and some of them have higher volume. So I wanted to level out the volume on that there. So uh, here we'll, 
right here we will go to the synth um i will share what the synth originally sounded like here copy paste and i will bring it back up to the normal this is the original sample So what I did was add a bandpass filter, uh, pitched it down uh, five semitones and then time stretched it so it matched the key that I was in and the tempo I was in. And then I added these effects here, quattro mod, adding a little bit of uh, width to it um, and watt again, uh, watt uh, to add some of that um, multiband compression uh, to some of those. And this is the uh, chop of that. I didn't really do anything as far as chopping it up. I just pitch shifted and time stretched it. Time stretched it. <laughs> time stretched it. I like that. I time stretched it. Um, so here we go. The final sound I used in this uh, particular beat is a guitar uh, chop. Um, this is, let's see, I'll copy one of these. Actually, I'll use that. Um, so this is the original guitar sound here. So what I did was I added stereo widener on this particular uh, sound. Um, I didn't need the guitar up front, so it really sounds up front and center, but I threw these effects on there to put it a little bit in the back. And these are all the built-in Beatmaker 3 effects here. So reverb with those settings there and modulation delay with those settings there. Um, and this, these are the chops that I came up with for the guitar. I lowered that down um, six semitones so that it matched the key that I was in. Uh, and then also time stretched the chops. So here we go. This is the guitar sound. So yeah, that's the gist of it. I won't play the whole beat, but I will just play um, maybe the first half of it so you can get an idea of some of those chops and things uh, and how they all work together. Um, the bottom four tracks here, are the one, two, three, four that you see, that is me converting it to audio because sometimes when I reload some of these sessions, um, the, the, the apps that I use might not load up correctly. So I convert them to audio as soon as I'm done making a track and then I bounce everything out so that I have a backup of the session and also a backup of all the audio files. I may do another video on how I back up my um, Beatmaker 3 sessions and audio files and things like that. But here is an overview of this one. I call it Midnight Oil. Here we go. And uh, I will sh show you my um, master, com uh, my main out uh, bus uh, plugins while I'm playing it back. just loops again i will link to the actual full video i think in this corner um i'll link to the full video thank you for checking this out thank you to mobile music pro vortex braille audio for this essentials pack 2 um hopefully you guys learned something from how i used it in this track here um uh it's some great sound so definitely check that out i will link to where you can download these sounds from in the description uh on youtube um thank you again for checking this out have a great day everyone be safe and be well all right all right peace